Hey, I go by the name of Károly. Um, I'm from Hungary and Germany. Well, I was born in Hungary and moved uh, or grew up in Germany and moved back to Hungary in uh, 2013 after I met my wonderful wife. In 2016, when I started uh, making beats by myself, but the story before that is like around 95, 1995, when I was 15, um, I grew up uh, on or in the golden era of the hip hop in Germany, which was heavily influenced by all the American barracks uh, around my area. And the first CD I bought was Dr. Dre The Chronic. I was involved in the local hip hop scene uh, in Stuttgart, Germany in the 90s, 2000s. And uh, around in studios, saw all the equipment, but I was trying to rhyme that time. So, uh, with yeah, more or less no success. <laughs> but yeah, I was a listener. Uh, to all kinds of stuff so but when I started actually making beats by myself in 2016 was uh, yeah I was uh, over 30 already and uh, in the meantime I moved to Hungary Budapest I was invited one day to a garden party at my wife's cousin's house with two turntables I played some MF Doom, Jay Diller and there was a guy from the local hip hop community uh, as well and he of course liked that stuff and we came to talk and I told him about my background and the cool thing about the Hungarian hip hop co community is that it's still like in, in the old days with graffiti artists, break dancers, uh, stuff like that and um, so he said hey a lot of old heads with experience and good ears suddenly started to making beats and I was like oh okay cool how and he told me about FS Studio and uh, what not so this is how then I became or oh, had interest uh, again to yeah do something with music and yeah this is how I started actually in FS Studio all those VST synthesizers with the blinking lights, the sequence, uh, the drums, and yeah, uh, it sparked something in me. I remember we went to the school with our jeans hanging down and crossed out like crisscross. So the whole culture as such, M music was a main part uh, of it and because of the influence of the army bases in Germany we early started to listen to 36 Mafia, Master P, all the down south stuff in the 90s, original gun clappers, Smith & Wesson, Lyricist Lounge, Mostef, Redman, Dre & Snoop, Dog Pound and all kinds of underground stuff from that time, uh, the MTV of the 90s, all kinds of genres, uh, even yeah, what I love is early Gucci Mane and his rap raw trap beats when nobody knew that it was trap. Um, what I forgot in the little addition to who or what inspired me was lofiweekly.com. I think he he's a guy from Boston if I'm not wrong. He launched it 2016 I think and um, every Sunday there was a release of a sample pack. I contributed a few sample packs as well but that was my main source of uh, samples actually and in addition to um, how I started making music was that I have installed on my... I was working in a, a, at an IT company at that time, a huge office, blah 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 and I have installed uh, the door on the company PC. We had admin rights at that time and I was actually, yeah, uh, had the luxury to do beats doing during work. Nobody recognized 
it somehow. I don't know. Uh, they didn't care. Also, my team lead was cool. So, but yeah, at a certain day, um, IT wrote me um, that, hey, you have an ASIO driver on your computer. Can you please delete? <laughs> and yeah, that uh, after that, I couldn't make any beats that work anymore. My senses, what I hear, see, experience, a random sound, a sample, a movie quote, a VST or a synth sound, other creators of course, and the fun itself created. My message is, uh, yeah, don't limit yourself to anything. Be open-minded. I would say minimal ambient lo-fi hip-hop instrumentals, um, synthesizer and drum machine music, groove box music, some synth wave, and yeah, beats. My first steps were those yeah, German raps from the 90s, but no, I don't remember none of them, uh, but I still have the rhyme books, <laughs> I guess, but no, I'm not rapping at all. Other than that, first steps were with a cracked door and uh, Windows XP without a sound card, uh, I didn't even knew what it's for, and then once I had a, an audio interface, I felt different and uh, yeah, went from there in that regard, but uh, I wrote a Hungarian for bars, I think, the only one. I need to re-record them actually on a real um, microphone because I use the phone and MPC and what not. So, én vagyok a tyúk, és szeretem a gyíkot, gyűlölöm a macskát, főleg, hogyha hízott, akkor, amit vatkan, maradjunk csak abban, lábatlan nem hatvan, lábam is sem hatvan. And it's funny because I don't think that even a Hungarian speaker would understand those lyrics because every word makes sense, but only and no slang words actually, nothing special. But only my uh, wife, my dog and me <laughs> understand uh, the lyrics. Definitely the Roland MS1 in combination with a doll of your choice. MS1. John Gray, Andre 3000, 36 Mafia, Vigus, I have already the collab, so cool with that. But of course, a few more collabs with Vigus uh, will be nice, would be nice. I would like to work with an experienced sound designer or a movie score composer to get some pro tips. Uh, Chopper Valley, Willie Greens, Alchemist, Bone Thugs. Yeah. Space for creativity, fun, learning source, relaxing source, and we have fun again. Painting pictures. Playing with Lego. <laughs> what is old school today was new school back then. So, difficult question, but uh, after 2010, I didn't listen to any, uh, or not much, I would say, to music. Like rap music, hip hop.
But of course, there are a lot of um, new school stuff as well uh, that I like, especially that uh, we just started rapping again and hooked up with the boys. Holla. Yo, it's a beautiful day and everybody's feeling wonderful. That press happiness in the year 2000. Yeah. You can find me on YouTube and on Reddit. Uh, because we'll put the links in the description box, hopefully. Thanks. Okay. I bought a used NPC 500 in 2019 and started to post on YouTube and Vigas started to like and to comment comment on my videos and this is how we actually got to uh, know each other uh, we followed each other and over the years uh, I made a beat for him in 2022 and one in 2000. 23 um, and actually we met in person uh, this year February um, because he's not too far away from Stuttgart and my wife and me went to Stuttgart and uh, so we managed to meet each other in person. Can you please explain me this whole auxiliary send return Master FX the monitor. This is something I don't understand about the mixer. I mean, I can Google it or something, but maybe you have a simple explanation for me. It, it took me ages to understand sidechain compression, for example. So now I understand with a simple explanation. But yeah, this affects send return. I don't. Shame on me. Thank you, dear rusty old MPC 500 for making the way to get to know Vigas OBK. Thank you for the invitation for this to this interview, uh, for the questions, really much appreciated. Looking forward for your new uploads uh, alone with the wider Vigas OBK team or yeah, or whatever it is. Uh, big shout out to everybody. Keep it up. Before I forget, um, congrats. Congratulations on your Sicher aber langsam EP. Great work. Really nice.